Hey YouTube, what's up? Um, just a quick little video here on kind of like an opinion that I want you guys to um, uh, help me with a little bit. Uh, I've had a PS3 now for uh, since like 2009 or something like that. And um, the same stuff kind of constantly keeps happening to uh, just random things on PlayStation. And this one has really... Uh, kind of driven me over the edge um, a little bit. Um, everybody knows that season pass for Black Ops uh, 2 that you can get, and you can also get Nuketown Zombies for it. Now, I did purchase the season pass, and actually today was supposed to be the release date for uh, Nuketown Zombies. So, uh, I went to school like how I always do, and I come home, and I go to download it, and it's not even on there so I exit the game and go into the PlayStation store to see if I uh, re-download the season pass it'll work and the same thing for PlayStation Network keeps popping up and I don't know why they would pick today to do this I'm gonna pick up my computer here I am filming this on my webcam sorry about that uh, the same thing keeps popping up and it's actually making me really mad because I've already waited about, uh, I know that there's a lot of people out there who's waited since the game first came out. And so, uh, my problem is, is, should I just go ahead and not give up on PlayStation, but should I switch systems, kind of? Should I get an Xbox 360 instead of my PlayStation 3 uh, because I'm almost considering doing that because of how bad the how bad a timing that was on PlayStation Network's part um, to go ahead and do maintenance on their network that doesn't even really need maintenance on a day that a lot of us have been waiting for to get Nuketown Zombies for uh, PlayStation 3 so I've been trying this on and off thing. Uh, I tried it. I, I got home about uh, 1.30, tried it about 1.45, and it did this exact same thing. I tried it again at like 2, 3, and now it's almost 3.30. And actually, no, it's almost 4.30 now, and it still does not work. So I'm actually getting really tired of PlayStation's little whole mess here with what they do so should I go ahead and get an Xbox um let me know in the comments below uh you guys can really make a big difference uh with my choice and yeah so like I said I'd like to know if you guys think I should get an Xbox over my PlayStation uh just because my PlayStation is not it's fine it works fine and everything and I'm still gonna keep it but Things like this has got to stop happening. It's making me mad, and it's making a lot of other people mad. So, well, this isn't really a direct message to PlayStation, but honestly, in my opinion, is is if they want to keep having people buy their product, they need to stop, you know, doing these things that they do. If they keep doing this constantly, it's never gonna, you know. PlayStation Network's never going to grow. People are going to realize and see all of these complaint videos on YouTube about PlayStation Network and say, oh, well, maybe I should just buy an Xbox instead of a PlayStation 3. So, if they don't fix this problem, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, and I'm actually still pretty mad about this. And I know that they can really do better things with PlayStation Network, but the PlayStation Store and stuff was fine the way that it was before it's undergoing maintenance, like how it is today, you know, and I think they somewhat, I don't know if they did that on purpose or anything, but it still just kind of ticks me off a little bit that that would happen, like, I had like tons of videos planned for today and everything, and uh, this just kind of ruined it, so... Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and um, we'll see what uh, happens. Thanks for your opinions, and thanks for watching.